This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Thursday, June 3rd, 2010. I'm Jeff Cummings. China won the men's 3-meter synchro and women's 10-meter individual events earlier today in Changzhou at the FINA World Cup. The 3-meter synchro title went to Ken Kai and Luo Yutong, who only started diving together about a week ago, according to reports out of China. Ken was part of the gold medal winning duos at the Olympics and World Championships. Troy Dumay and Christian Ibsen of the United States were 20 points back for second place, continuing their silver medal streak after finishing second at Worlds. In third place was the Ukrainian pair of Ilya Kavasha and Oleks Pogrovov, the reigning Olympic bronze medalists. China took the top two spots in the women's 10 meter finals. Hu Yudan won the event by 15 points over reigning Olympic champion Chen Ruolin. Australia's Melissa Wu was third. More finals later today include the women's 10-meter synchro finals in which Haley Ishimatsu and Mary Beth Dunache hope to duplicate or improve on their silver medal finish from the World Championships. Troy Dumay and Chris Colwell are competing for the U.S. in the men's individual 3-meter event and Dumay was the silver medalist from Worlds behind China's Hei Chong. We'll have the results from China as they come in on SwimmingWorld.com. Last year we told you that Marlene Veldhaus was pregnant with her first child. Well yesterday she welcomed her daughter Hannah to the world and we at Swimming World TV would like to send our congratulations to the family. Veldhaus would obviously not be participating in this summer's European Championships as she works her way back to form but it's likely we'll see the 31-year-old at next year's World Championships and the 2012 Olympics. Swimming teachers at 100 facilities around the world today attempted to enter the Guinness Book of World Records with the largest swimming lesson taking place on four continents. Starting at 7 a.m. Pacific time and taking place simultaneously around the world, thousands of kids took free lessons in local pools. But besides getting into the Guinness Book, the event is aimed at raising awareness during National Water Safety Month about the importance of taking swimming lessons, which are most likely offered at a swimming pool near you. And finally today, we want to wish a happy birthday to a couple of U.S. Olympians and a world record holder. Katie Hoff, a three-time Olympic medalist in 2008, celebrates her 21st birthday today. Gil Stovall, who competed in the 200 Butterfly in Beijing, turns 24 today. And we want to send a belated happy birthday greeting to Ariana Kukors, the world record holder in the 200 IM, who turned 21 on Tuesday. That's the news for today. We'll see you tomorrow with a look at the competitions taking place around the world this weekend. Thanks for watching.